any biocalculator is an easy to use tool that contains various modules to help with biomass calculations. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the double stranded DNA mass to from moles converter to plan an any builder hi fi DNA assembly reaction. The double stranded DNA mass to from moles converter module has two modes. The mass to moles mode converts the double stranded DNA mass to moles of double stranded DNA, moles of double stranded DNA ends, and the number of DNA molecules. The moles to mass mode converts moles of double stranded DNA to the DNA mass. This can be useful for setting up an AnyBuilder Hi-Fi DNA assembly reaction. AnyBuilder Hi-Fi DNA assembly efficiently assembles two to six fragments of double stranded DNA in a single reaction. An important parameter of any DNA assembly reaction is the number of DNA molecules present in the assembly. Any biocalculator can help convert DNA mass concentration to moles. For a two to three fragment assembly, NEB recommends using a total DNA quantity of 0.03 to 0.2 picomoles and a one to two vector to insert molar ratio. We recommend starting with 50 to 100 nanograms of vector fragment when planning a reaction. You may need to use more DNA mass when working with large vectors. In this example, we demonstrate a three fragment assembly, one vector fragment and two insert fragments. The linearized vector is three KB in length and the insert fragments are 500 base pair and two KB, including the assembly overlaps. We will first determine how much of the vector should be added to the assembly reaction. Start with the recommended 100 nanograms of vector. To begin our calculations, click on the double-stranded DNA mass to from moles conversion button. Click on the mass to moles tab. Enter 3 KB for DNA length and 100 nanograms for the DNA mass. Make sure you select the correct unit type from the pull-down. Any biocalculator tool immediately calculates that the number of moles of vector is 53.94 femtomoles or 0.0539 picomoles of vector. We can then use this to determine how much insert DNA to use. For the inserts, we need a 1 to 2 vector to insert ratio. Multiply 0.0539 picomoles of the vector by 2 to get 0.108 picomoles of each insert fragment. It is important to stay within the total DNA recommendation for the assembly reaction, or 0.03 to 0.2 picomoles total. If we sum the total DNA for our fragments, you can see that we have greater than 0.25 picomoles of DNA, which is too much. If we repeat our calculations with less vector DNA, for example, 75 nanograms, we find that we have 0.04 picomoles of vector and 0.08 picomoles of our two fragments for a total DNA input of 0.2 picomoles, which is within the recommendations. You may need to use a larger starting mass when working with large vector fragments greater than 6 KB. Now that we have the correct quantities of DNA fragments to add to our assembly, we can use the insert fragment lengths to calculate the mass of each insert DNA to add to the any builder assembly reaction. By entering fragment length and moles, any biocalculator indicates we should add 24.72 nanograms of the 500 base pair fragment and 98.87 nanograms of the large 2KB fragment. With this information, you can start setting up your AnyBuilder Hi-Fi DNA assembly reaction. Visit anybiocalculator.neb.com for more helpful biomath modules and anybuilderhifi.com for more information on AnyBuilder Hi-Fi DNA assembly.